cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa. A um, couple of days, morning last Friday, I think, uh, I actually managed to buy this very fresh uh, snapper from this very little lorry selling seafood near my place. Uh, this is somewhere around 600 or between 600 to 700 grams. Just, just nice actually for a small family like mine. And today I'm going to uh, steam it. And in Kuala Lumpur, there is actually one method. They, say, they just call it uh, Qing Zhen. Okay? Uh, just call it Qing Zhen where they will actually put quite a lot of uh, ginger on top. Uh, they used to steam uh, they used to steam the fish head yeah they used to steam fish head but today I'm going to use my family don't really eat uh, not so pandai to eat fish head so I'm going to use the whole fish and this is definitely snapper is one of my most favorite fish the meat is very tender and also very sweet okay so um, few things um, take note when you are when you want to uh, steam the fish first of all we want to really remove the fishy, fishy smell from uh, the steamed fish. Okay, that is actually your number one challenge. So first of all, uh, most important part is, of course, you want to wash your fish thoroughly. Second thing, always remove the blood stain in the middle of the bone here. Sometimes there will be a, a membrane covering. You just cut it open and wash it. Okay, wash away all this blood because this blood is actually the source of fishiness it is actually the fish kidney yeah it is actually the fish kidney always wash it away so that uh, it will reduce at least 70 percent of the fishy smell from your steamed fish okay and um, after that we can actually put in some uh, this is spring onion and ginger on into the cavity and I'll be putting some on top right and I'm going to sprinkle it some salt right and one thing later is to remove the fishy water I will tell you what is the fishy water so anyway this is my steamer and uh, if you don't have a steamer like this, you need to always raise your uh, the steamer plate. You must raise the fish maybe with a chopstick or something so that the steaming process will be more complete. Uh, my fish pot here actually is already raised. Yeah, there is something here which is already raised. So let me see. I will just put it in. Gum gum. <laughs> And I'm going to put this over to my steamer. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Okay, I'll just put this into my steamer. Just throw it in. Too close. Appa got too many gadgets at home. <laughs> no place to put. Okay, oops, okay. It will fit nicely inside. And let me open it. And I'm going to use the steam function and steam it for somewhere around 12-13 minutes. Um, yeah, the real steaming time is somewhere around 10. Because this machine will take about 20 seconds to build out the steam and also it will actually let it rest in the last 2 minutes. Therefore, I, I added another 3 minutes there. Okay, so now we can go and uh, make the steam fish sauce. Okay, while waiting the fish we can just quickly make the broth, the steamed fish sauce, very easy actually. I'm going to uh, start with one bowl of chicken stock. Then I'm going to give it a little bit of, um, this is the uh, oyster sauce. A bit of my fish sauce my favorite fish sauce by the way all the ingredients I will put it in the description for you to check this is garlic oil
a bit of light soya sauce a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar okay so you want to mix everything up nicely if you don't have chicken stock you can always use uh, plain water don't worry Okay, make sure everything is nicely dissolved, especially the salt and also sugar. Some ask me, Appa, do I have to cook the steamed fish sauce? Actually, not necessary. Okay, so basically the steamed fish sauce is done. And also you will need some garnishing, uh, a lot of uh, ginger slices. Okay, a lot of ginger slice here. Uh, you decide how much you want to put. And uh, I have some fried garlic, some uh, fresh coriander, and give it a little bit of kick. I will add a bit of uh, chili padi. Hey, actually, the more the merrier, but my family doesn't eat spicy, so I can't put too much. So remember, when we are cooking at home, right? We are not cooking for ourselves, we are cooking for a family. Okay? Nice. Oh, by the way, if you don't have uh, garlic oil like me, you can actually uh, use sesame oil as well. Okay, this is after 30 minutes. Once it is done, you just take it out. If you are using this particular steamer, always remember when you want to open this lid, inside got a lot of steam, very dangerous. So you always uh, open upwards so that you won't hurt yourself. Okay, and then you are seeing a lot of water inside, right? All oh, this is the fishy water. Okay, this is not the goodness water. It's actually the fishy water that gives you the fishy smell. So what you want is actually just to... Uh, you get you got actually two... You can have two uh, options. If you want to serve using this pot, then what you do is... Uh, you can remove... You can actually uh, remove the fishy water from here. Uh, because there is actually two holes at the side so you can carefully remove it if not you can just take your fish and bring it over to another serving plate up to you so i will take out whoops i will take out ginger and just bring on in Okay, let me adjust the angle for you a bit. Okay, so what you want to do now, you can actually put your ginger all over. To Appa, it's the more the merrier because I slice the ginger really thinly, very fine. Therefore, actually, I'll be eating the ginger later. Yeah, I'm a ginger person. Not forgetting the chili fresh coriander and also the fried garlic then you can pour your steam free sauce over if your steam free sauce you you feel is very salty then don't pour it on top actually you can pour at the side yeah very beautiful, isn't it? There's actually one more step. You can actually heat, heat up some oil. That is how the Chinese restaurant will usually use <coughs> to really bring out the fragrance. Heat up some oil at the side. And I hope you can hear the sizzling sound. about two tablespoons of oil and pour it on top okay beautifully done all right i hope you like my video today if um, all the ingredients i use i'll put it inside the description yeah from actually from a couple of months back um, all my videos will have all the ingredient list this is as required by most of you okay so i uh, hope you like my video if you like my video do share my video out on your facebook to your friends Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page, you click like and follow button, follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. 
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.